Hey guys, what's going on? It's Jamie the Fox from Animals Play here, back with you again today for another new episode of our coding series called Swift Playgrounds. Again guys, this is an app that helps you learn and code with visual images. So it's really cool, really awesome, really easy. So that said, let's jump back into it. Today we're going to be starting on the nesting patterns section. So let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right, so the goal of this lesson here is to call functions from other functions. Up until now, you've, the functions you've defined have only called existing commands, such as move forward and collect gem. It doesn't have to be this way, though. The function turn around directs byte to turn around and face the opposite direction. You can call this function inside another function solve stare and call solve stare into your code to solve bigger parts of the puzzle. Okay, so this process of breaking a larger problem into smaller problems, smaller pieces, is called decomposition. Okay, so... Step number one here is to define the solve stare function, calling turnaround inside of it. And step number two is going to be call solve stare along with other functions you need. And number three is going to be solve the puzzle by collecting all four gems. Okay guys, so I think I have my code that I need. So I'm going to first go to the gem Byte is standing on and grab that one. It's going to be turn around, move forward, collect gem. And then we're going to do solve stair, which is turn left twice, move forward, forward, collect gem, solve stair, Move forward, turn right, move forward, collect gem, solve stair, move forward, forward, and collect gem. Let's see if that works. From the beginning, Byte, from the beginning. Let's see if you can do it. Here's the first one. I know that one's going to work. I tested that one first. Oh, no. Didn't work. Did not work. He's going to be stuck in the loop now. <laughs> so I missed something. Alright, let's go ahead and stop it here. Alright, so... We have turn left, move forward, collect gem, turn left, left, which, which is the solve star, then move forward, forward, we need to go forward one more time maybe in here, let's try that. I realize my code has a gap and hopefully that doesn't matter. All right, he's getting that first one easy. No, you're still not getting it. All right. Okay guys, let's see if we can do it this time. I've changed a few things around in the code. I actually needed to be putting turn around in there, not solve stare, because this is the actual function that I'm working on. Let's run it. Come on, bite. Take it from the top, bro. You can do it. There's one. There's his turn around, move forward. Move forward. Feel like Jim. Turn around. Move forward, turn right, move forward, collect gem, turn around, move forward, move forward, and collect gem. Yay! You're getting there. Remember the reason to use functions to break bigger problems into smaller, more manageable pieces. Okay, so we did it. But there's obviously another way, a better way we could do it. Okay, guys, moving on to slotted stairways. 
The goal is to decompose a solution across multiple functions. All right. This practice makes your code more readable. All right, so the first goal here is to run the code to see what happens when solve row is called. And then we have to tweak the code inside solve row so that it solves a bigger chunk of the puzzle. And then call solve row along with other commands to solve the puzzle. All right, let's run the code and see what happens. So we have collect gem turn around. Move forward, move forward, collect gem. Turn left, turn left. Move forward, move forward. He should be back in the same spot. So yes, there he is in the same spot. Good. Okay, I've come up with the code, guys. Let's see if this will work. Let's let Bike do his thing here. We've got collect gym, turn around, collect gym, turn around, turn right, move forward, turn left, collect gym, turn around, collect gym, turn around, turn right, move forward, turn right, collect gym, turn around, collect gym, turn around. All right, that's the second to last gym, guys. Can he do it? One more to get. We're so close. All right, you're really getting this. By using decomposition to break down a larger problem into smaller, more manageable parts. You're making your code more readable and reusable. Wow, would you look at the time, guys? That is all the time we have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to check out our other videos. And check this app out. It'll be available this fall. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment, guys. We love interacting with you guys. So make sure you drop a comment. And check out our social media in the description as well as a monthly giveaway, guys. So make sure you check that out as well. And we'll see you guys next time.